world is? It's Central Asia's Tibetan Plateau with an average elevation of more than 4,500 meters. Did you know that India is also a land of plateaus? Let's discover some unique features about these. The Deccan Plateau, situated in the southern peninsular part of India, is guarded by two elevated landforms. The edges of the Deccan Plateau are categorized as the Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. The Western Ghats are also known as Sahyadri. They extend along the western coastal plains from Gujarat in the north to Kanyakumari in the state of Tamil Nadu in the south. It extends about 1,600 kilometers. The mountain range is continuous and can be crossed only through passes. In this range, four passes are found from north to south. Talghat, Bhorghat, Palghat and Shenkota. The Western Ghats have an average elevation of 900 to 1600 meters. The height progressively increases from north to south. Major peaks in the Western Ghats are Kalsubai, 1646 meters, Mahabaleshwar, 1438 meters, Salher, 1547 meters, Harish Chandar, 1424 meters, Kudramukha, 1892 meters, Pushpagiri, 1714 meters, and Doda Betta, 2637 meters in the Nilgiri Mountains. Anai Mudi with 2,695 meters of elevation is the highest peak of the Western Ghats. Due to the presence of the Western Ghats, the moist winds blowing from the Arabian Sea rise along the slopes of the Ghats. This causes the Western coastal region to receive an orographic rainfall. These winds descend and move to the eastern edge of the Deccan Plateau and are found in the Eastern Ghats. The Eastern Ghats run along the eastern coast of India from the Mahanadi Valley to the Nilgiri Mountains in the south. The average height of the Eastern Ghats is 600 meters. The Eastern Ghats are wider than the Western Ghats but are discontinuous, irregular and more dissected by rivers draining into the Bay of Bengal. Mahendragiri at 1501 meters is the highest peak of the Eastern Ghats in the north. In the central part from the river Krishna to the Penna River there are three hills, Belikonda, Nallamalai and Palkonda. And then in the south of the eastern Ghats, the Javedi, Shivroi and Kollimalai hills are found. Do you know where the famous hill stations of Uti and Kodekanal are found? Let's summarize. The eastern and western edges of the Deccan Plateau are known as the Eastern Ghats and the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats run along the western coast of India from the state of Gujarat to Kanyakumari 
in the state of Tamil Nadu in south. It extends about 1,600 kilometers. The Western Ghats have an average elevation of 900 to 1,600 meters. Eastern Ghats run along the eastern coast of India from the Mahanadi Valley to the Nilgiri Mountains in the south. The average height of the Eastern Ghats is 600 meters.